Good evening YouTube. Let's go ahead and check how to get voice over LTE on your CoolPad Note 3 and install the official Marshmallow beta on your CoolPad Note 3. Follow the instructions. Alright guys, as you can see the phone is running Android 5.1 Lollipop. Now on this particular firmware, VOLT or Voice over LT is not supported. So for a Geo user, it's a slight problem because you have to use Geo 4G Voice and experience is not the best on that particular app. So let's go ahead and install the Marshmallow Beta which enables this particular feature on your phone. Now the link is mentioned in the description. Just go ahead and download this particular file and place it anywhere on your computer. Remember, you need to have 50% battery on your phone. Back up all your data because this will erase everything on your internal memory and ensure that you're running a Windows computer. Now, once the file is downloaded, just go ahead and extract the zip file to your desktop. And uh, as you can see, once you extract this particular zip, you will have three folders, all right? So let the extraction complete. Now, once these folders are extracted and ready on your desktop, if you've never installed your CoolPad drivers, just go ahead and follow the instructions in the README file and install the drivers. After which, you need to open the Flash Tools folder, right click on the Flash Tool and hit Run as an administrator. If you have any user account control prompts, just go ahead and allow it. After that, uh, just click on Scatter Loading and go to the firmware folder on your desktop and you will see that there is a Android scatter file. Just select it and hit open and it will load the entire firmware. Now click on download and next you need to power off your CoolPad Note 3. So just completely power it off. I know you guys can see me over there. That's, that's completely fine. All right. Once the phone is completely powered off, just connect it with the USB cable to your computer and immediately you will notice that the SP flash tool will start flashing the firmware on your phone. There you go. Now this flash will take about three to five minutes and once it is done it will you know you will have a green tick mark on your computer screen for the flash tool that clearly indicates that the flash has completed successfully. So just wait patiently while the flash is done. And then you just need to go ahead and disconnect your phone from the computer. And press and hold the power button to boot it. Now the first boot will take about 5 to 7 minutes. So please don't panic if it is stuck on the boot logo for a long time. And there you go. Once the boot is complete, you will be greeted with this particular screen. Obviously, you will have the setup screen and everything. I've just skipped the setup part. And as you can see now, the phone is running Cool UI 8.0, which is way better than Cool UI 6.0. And it is also running Marshmallow. Now, the catch here is it doesn't display the VOLT or Voice over LTE icon. But if you look at the screen right now, the SIM 1 is a Geo SIM and it works perfectly fine so you don't need the geo join app anymore there's not much of a problem with this particular firmware in fact it is way better than the official 5.1 so give it a try install it and uh, it should be a good experience for you guys and if you liked this particular video remember to like share and subscribe it really helps me a lot to bring you better and better content every new video thank you very much for your time have a great evening Goodbye.